Now, if you're a chocoholic, you are going to love today's webinar because I'm going to show you a way to get your chocolate fix that's also healthy. That's right, I said healthy. Now, chocolate usually gets a bad rap, but that's typically because of what we put in it. Things like sugar and butter and white flour, but chocolate itself is actually made out of a bean, so it's technically a vegetable. <laughs> okay, so that's a stretch, but chocolate does contain nutrients that do deliver some impressive health benefits. For example, cocoa contains phytochemicals, which are bioactive substances like flavonoids that can help protect your heart and may even keep your mind sharp. It also contains magnesium to promote healthy blood pressure and fiber to help keep you, uh, how do we say this? We'll just say regular. Beyond that, this is quick and easy to make. You can have this hot chocolate ready start to finish in about three minutes. So I don't know about you, but my schedule's pretty packed. I'm guessing yours is too. And if something's not easy, we're probably not gonna do it. Luckily, this is easy. So without any further ado, let's learn how to make healthy hot chocolate. Okay, to make your healthy hot chocolate, the first thing you're going to do is gather your ingredients. Now, don't worry about writing down the amounts. They will be in the link with the full recipe that's included with this webinar. First, you're gonna need a cup of milk. I like unsweetened vanilla almond milk, but you can use soy or dairy, whatever you have at home. The next thing you're gonna do is get your cocoa powder. You'll use a tablespoon of that, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a little pinch of instant coffee granules or espresso. What that's gonna do is help really bring out the chocolate flavor. Now that's optional, but I highly recommend it. Now, the next piece is the sweetener. Of course, you could use regular sugar, but I would prefer um, maple syrup instead, just because it has a little, some trace minerals in it, a little bit of good stuff along with the sugar. And if you wanna use a calorie-free sweetener, my personal favorite is liquid stevia. Now, unlike a lot of non-caloric sweeteners, it's not very processed. It's just an extract of the stevia leaf, so it's the way I like to go personally. Now, to make this hot chocolate, we're gonna use a little bit of a special technique, and it's gonna make sure that the final product is nice and smooth. So the first thing you're gonna do is put in your cocoa powder and your vanilla extract. And if you have it on hand, just a little pinch of instant coffee or espresso powder. And then your sweetener of choice. Now I recommend going easy on it at first. You can always add a little bit at the end. If you're using stevia, I usually use about a dropper full, but again, that's, maybe I'll put a little extra, that's personal choice. Okay, and the last piece is you're gonna put in about a tablespoon of whatever milk it is that you're using. And then you're going to take a fork, not a spoon, but a fork, because you're gonna to have to whisk and you're gonna whisk this into sort of a very smooth paste or a syrup, and that's how we're gonna make sure that our final product is nice and smooth. Now, it takes about 20 or 30 seconds, so have patience, bear with it. It's gonna be worth it in the end. you should have a nice smooth paste or sort of a chocolatey syrup. I don't know if you can see that there. What you're going to do next is add in about a quarter cup of the milk that's left. And you're going to repeat that process until it's nice and smooth again. Then you're going to go ahead and pour in the rest of your milk. Give it a quick stir, and then you're gonna pop it in the microwave for a minute to a minute and a half. Okay, now that your hot chocolate is actually hot, I recommend going ahead and giving it just a little stir. Careful, because it's hot. And you are ready to enjoy, it smells so good. I'm just gonna have a little sip. Oh, and it is so good. Again, you can have it just the way it is, but if you want to play around with the flavors a little bit, you can do some mix-ins and they're also really healthy. So they'll bump up the nutrient profile a little bit too. So the first one you can use is my personal favorite 
and that is pureed pumpkin. So a quarter cup of this gives you 191% of your daily value of vitamin A, which is pretty impressive. Plus it's gonna make this nice and thick and creamy. It's gonna taste amazing. What you will wanna do is make sure you put in a little extra sweetener and just a pinch of salt to adjust for the flavor. So that's number one. Number two is cinnamon. Now studies suggest that cinnamon can actually help your body handle blood sugar a little better, but more importantly, it tastes amazing in hot chocolate. You can even put in a little pinch of cayenne and that'll give you kind of a Mexican hot chocolate feel. So another favorite. And this is a lot of fun. It's kind of outside the box. If you have babies or toddlers at home, you may have some baby food bananas. So if you do, I recommend going ahead before you feed your child, just put a little squeeze in your hot chocolate. And what that does, it gives it a little extra hint of sweetness and the chocolate banana flavor is off the charts. And also again, it makes it even more um, rich. So there you have it, healthy hot chocolate with some mix-ins you can use to kick it up a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this month's webinar and we will see you back next month.